Hello everyone, welcome back to Zodiac Cats. In the last episode, we got so close. We got so close to finishing all of the puzzles. Um, this is a really nice relaxing game and I'm so glad I did it. Um, just quickly, I turned down the music. Oh, loud. Jeez. There we go. Um, so I guess let's do Gemini. Oh, there's two kitties! Yes! The best! <laughs> uh, do you go there? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. Gemini. Um. Okay, cool. And then you go there. And you go there. They're the cute little kitties. Happiness. I love cats. I love animals. Huge weakness of mine. Just animals. I used to, uh, well, my birthday, my birthday's in December, right? Um, and I, I absolutely hate it. I'm gonna get real for a second. I absolutely hate the fact that my birthday's in December. I always felt like there was nothing I could do, and everyone else was born in the summer, and they could just go to the beach or go hikes or camping, and it just... Mine was December. There wasn't much to do. Um, so I used to throw half birthdays. So on June 2nd, I would throw a birthday party. But instead of asking for gifts, I would ask people to bring pet food, pet beds, toys, the likes, because I wanted the animals to, uh, to have something. I didn't want toys. I didn't want anything. I just wanted to give it all to the animals. So, May 21st to June 20th, Mercury, Air, Agate, Yellow, positive. Curiosity, cleverness, extroversion, flexibility, impul impulsivity, indecisiveness, good communication skills, I think. Gemini cats are sassy, playful, and fun, but they can be naughty if not played with. They make wonderful companions and can get along with kids. On to cancer. But yeah, so that was just a little thing for, for me. Um... I also joined uh, like Earth Rangers and they played Animal Jam and just animals. Anything to do with animals, I was I was in. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to share that, but There's a little crab! Oh, It's a baby! It's a baby! I think it would go there. The kitty is curious. The curious the baby boy. <laughs> so adorable. My goodness gracious. Would you go there? I guess, yeah. Mm. 
still know that belongs there though. there and then you go there and then you no you go there and then you go there and then you switch right no there's something missing something is wrong what doesn't fit What doesn't fit? You. June 21st to July 22nd. Moon, water, ruby, silver, negative. Emotion, sensitiveness, self-protection, intuition, moodiness, Vindictive behavior, I feel. Uh, love to be petted and they follow their owners everywhere. They enjoy companionship a lot. They can be very easily scared, even traumatized. Aw, poor babies. That one's a hard one. Virgo. My aunt's a Virgo. My mom's a Libra. I know a lot of Libras. Realization. Where's the rest of the writing? Where's the L in Leo? Right there. Okay. Um. You, I think we go there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, da 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 da. I think you would go there. No. You don't go there. That's not where you belong. Or is it? Huh. I stand corrected. Okay. Pleasant surprise. You go there, and now... You. Okay. You go there. You get a little kitty cat. So fierce. A fierce little baby. July 23rd to August 22nd, sun, fire, peridot, orange, positive, compassion, generosity, consciousness, uh, confidence, ambition, dominance, 
egotism, and patience. I will. Leo cats are very neat and elegant. They spend hours cleaning their hair. They are playful and joyful. Also, they love being loved. Who doesn't, huh? Ah, <laughs> cute. All right, the last one, Virgo. Surprisingly works. Okay. No. You go there. And then you're at the bottom. Um, kitty paw. No. That don't work. That don't work. That does, however. Oh, he looks kind of grumpy. Done. The side piece. Wherever that may be. <laughs> mm. Oh, you go there. And then the butterfly. Nice. Uh, that's the kitty cat. Okay, okay. August 23rd to September 22nd, Mercury, Earth, Blue, Sapphire, Brown, Negative, Patience, Reasoning, Kindness, Creative, Perfectionism, Overthinking, Stress, Tension, I Analyze. Virgo cats like routine and hate changes. They don't like a messy place and won't eat food from a dirty bowl either. They are loving and very loyal to their owners. We did it. We did it. Now what? No, I didn't mean to click on that. I did not mean to click on that. Go back to the zodiac. So, what do I do? Predictions? Let's see what the journey you hold in the future. Check your predictions. Future awaits. You should adopt a ginger cat. This kind of cat will certainly be your adventure partner and keep you in good spirits. This is Fufino. Oh, we adopted him last time. The fluffy, uh, he was rescued, neutered, and diagnosed with feline AIDS. No, the bee. His playful and tender personality helped him get adopted and now he lives happily in his forever home, being cute and helping his humans to be joyful. Oh. <laughs> A little baby. Oh. <laughs> Gallery. Oh. Beautiful artwork. 
beautiful artwork. Credits. Mr. Fufinho, the game designer. Judy, bossy CEO. Lily, anti-social media. Lino, sound engineer. Giovanni, artist and model. Aww. I guess that's it. That was so much fun. I really liked it. It's a cute little puzzle game. And once again, I'm a sucker for art and I'm a sucker for cats. So like those two kind of just collided. But yeah, God, I, I love the work of these developers. I absolutely stand with them no matter what. They're doing such great things and for such a great cause. They're just doing what they love and trying to help support. And I understand that. Anyway, before I get too teary-eyed and sentimental, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.